the writings on the wall starting from 1st october all cars sold in india will have to have six airbags hi my name is dhruv paliwal you're watching autovex and today we are going to be talking about the latest development when it comes to vehicular safety in india but before we do that let's give you a small recap of exactly how we've gotten here You're watching the AutoX YouTube channel. You can also get your daily dose of all things automotive on our website autox.com and follow us on social media. Don't forget to check out our monthly magazine and make sure to hit the bell and subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. In April 2018, AVS became mandatory on all new cars sold in India. Then in April 2019, AVS became mandatory on all cars sold in india fast forward to july 2019 and a driver airbag a speed warning system seat belt reminder for both driver and passenger and rear parking sensors became mandatory on all cars sold in india then in april of 2021 dual airbags became mandatory on all new cars sold in india and from 1st january 2022 dual airbags have been made mandatory on all cars sold in india Which brings us to now when a new rule has been floated to make six airbags mandatory in all cars that can seat up to 8 people. Now let's start with how car makers will be affected by this and let's start with Maruti. Now every second car sold in India is a Maruti and for once that is not such a good thing. And that's because Maruti doesn't offer more than two airbags on any of their cars in any variant. So when it comes to re-engineering the cars to accommodate six airbags, it's going to be a bit of a task. Okay cars like the Swift the Baleno the Ignis which are sold globally and actually do get six airbags in global markets it'll be easier for them to put in six airbags in those cars but cars like the Alto the Wagoner the Celerio the Ertiga i mean these are bread and butter models for Maruti and these cars don't get six airbags anywhere so it's going to be harder to re-engineer these cars to get six airbags and guess who's going to be paying that price it's going to be you Now Hyundai is next in line. If you're talking about Hyundai, only the Santro, the Grand Hyatt Neos and the Aura, these are the only three cars that don't get six airbags in any variant. The rest of the cars, the i20, the Venue, the Creta, the Elantra, the Verna and the Tucson, they all get six airbags in one variant or the other. So, re-engineering lower variants of those cars, it's not going to be a big task. You'll just have to pay a little more money for the added airbags and that's it. But the Santro, I mean the Santro doesn't get six airbags anyway, so a lot of re-engineering will have to be done to accommodate six airbags into the Santro, and I mean it it could be a good time to just uh, take it out of the lineup. Then let's come to the Grand Hyatt Neos. In the Grand Hyatt Neos, uh, the Grand Hyatt Neos is actually the i10 which is sold in global markets, and in global markets it does get six airbags. So. it should not be that big a problem but this is only theoretically it shouldn't be that big a problem for Hyundai to put six airbags into the Grand Hyatt Neos as far as the Aura is concerned the Aura is only sold in India but it is based on the Grand Hyatt Neos so if they can do it for the Grand Hyatt Neos then putting six airbags into the Aura should not be that difficult Next up is Mahindra and Mahindra has quite a few cars in their lineup which don't get six airbags the Scorpio the Thar the KUB 100 the Marazzo the Bolero and the Bolero Neo Now as far as the Bolero is concerned I mean this could just be the end of the road for the car because I mean to update it to have six airbags will take a lot of effort and time and Mahindra has quite a few cars in which they need to fit six airbags the Bolero Neo okay uh, it'll be probably be easier for them but again uh, no other Bolero Neo variant gets six airbags so reengineering will be required Scorpio again doesn't get six airbags the Thar okay the Thar is going to be interesting because the Thar is available in a soft top and a hard top format the six airbags that are required are the dual frontal airbags the side airbags for the front seats and a curtain airbag which goes all the way from the A pillar to the C pillar do you see the problem here because the Thar the hard top and the soft top where will they fit that curtain airbag it's going to be really interesting to see how Mahindra figures out the solution to this problem and the KUV 100 and the Marazzo are the other two cars which don't get six airbags and again Mahindra will have to spend some time in R&D to make sure these cars can be fitted with six airbags now next up we have Tata and Tata is known to make 
the safest cars in India. I mean, most of their cars have either four stars or five star uh, end cap ratings. But you'll be surprised to know that the Tiago, the Tigor, the Punch, the Altros, and the Nexon, all these cars only get two airbags in all their variants. So uh, Tata will have to put six airbags in all these cars, and these cars are not sold anywhere else with six airbags or anything. So they will have to re-engineer these cars to fit in the six airbags. Next is Honda. Now Honda's only car to get six airbags in India is the new Gen City. It's actually been a couple of years since it's been here, but it's still the new Gen City, and it's the only car. Apart from that, the Ford Gen City, the WRV, the Amaze, and the Jazz, they all miss out on six airbags. But the good thing in Honda's case is that Honda does sell these models in global markets, and they do get six airbags in some of those markets. So all it needs to do is it needs to take the design from there and bring it to India and just implement it in their cars. Next up is Renault. Now Renault sells the Quid, the Kyger, the Triber, and the Duster in India. And the Kyger and the Triber actually do get four airbags, but they don't get six, and they will need to have six. So again, these cars will need to be re-engineered to put in six airbags. Same is the case with Nissan. Nissan sells the Kicks and the Magnite in India. The Kicks gets four airbags, but the Magnite doesn't. Then we come down to Skoda. Actually, Skoda's only car to not have six airbags. was the rapid but the rapid is pretty soon going to be discontinued and i'm sure they will not update it for six airbags all of the other cars in the lineup the upcoming slavia the kushak the kodiak the octavia the superb they all get more than six airbags so they are in the clear as far as volkswagen is concerned the polo is only offered with two airbags and the vento gets four airbags in one of the top spec versions so both these cars will need to be re-engineered In the case of the Polo, we are pretty sure Volkswagen will do something, put in the six airbags, and bring it. But as far as the Vento is concerned, uh, they just might leave it out because the new Virtus is coming, and it's going to be coming to India sometime in March. That's when we'll get to see the car, and towards the end of May is when the launch will happen. So Volkswagen could just discontinue the Vento by the time October rolls around, and the Virtus will have six airbags. Now these are the major car makers which come October will have to re-engineer their cars and put in six airbags in them. But what about you and me? What's going to happen to you and me? How are you and me going to be affected? Okay, so the bottom line is this: cars under 10 lakh will be affected the most because that's where most of the cars that don't get more than two airbags exist. So anyone who's looking for a budget car or is making the switch from a two-wheeler to a four-wheeler will feel the pinch. As far as cars a little above that are concerned, ones which do get six airbags in their higher variants, in those cars the only added cost should be adding those extra airbags. And airbags, once you know the economies of scale go up, the prices of airbags will come down. So it won't be that big a burden on these people. Finally, cars over fifteen or twenty lakh. Now I mean. these cars pretty much already get six airbags you'll only find a handful of uh, cars in this segment in this price bracket that do not get these airbags and the price really shouldn't change much just because a few airbags have been added okay so now it's time to sum up this video and first things first the government is making six airbags mandatory and that's a good move i mean if they will not push car makers to give you the best safety features who will because me and you we aren't going to be doing that so that's a good move But that said, uh, the government also needs to focus on implementing rules. I mean, if you're not wearing a seat belt but you have six airbags in your car, to be honest, you will not be able to make the most use of those airbags if you do get into an accident. Because what happens is a seat belt holds you in your seat, doesn't let you move if you get into an accident, and the airbags are there to cushion you then from the external force of the accident. If you're not wearing your seat belt, the g force is acting on your body will actually throw you into your steering wheel and an airbag at that point of time would actually cause you an injury as well so essentially the focus it just doesn't need to be on keeping you safe during an accident but it should also be on preventing accidents these were our views on this latest six airbags development when it comes to vehicle safety in india what do you think did we miss out on anything that you would want to see covered in this video let us know in the comments below also if you did like the video do like it do share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more such content thank you so much for watching